Now, coming to the ligaments of the joint. So, of the first ligament which we are going to discuss is the capsular ligament. The capsular ligament encloses the joint completely, uh, medially, laterally and then also above and below. Okay. It closes the joint completely and the attachments of the capsule are anteriorly it will be attached to the articular tubercle. Okay. So, anteriorly it will be attached to the articular tubercle and posteriorly it will be attached to the squamotympanic fissure. So, here you are able to see this fissure. So, between the tympanic plate of temporal bone and the squamous part, what you see is the squamotympanic fissure. The squamotympanic fissure will be again divided by a downturned part of tegment tympani into petrosquamous and petrotympanic fissure. Okay. So, that aspect I will come to later while we discuss with the corda tympani nerve. So, so, capsule, what happens is, I told you the attachments anteriorly, it is attached to the articular tubercle above and also to the squamotympanic fissure. And front, you are able to see uh, the tendon of the lateral pterygoid uh, merges with the capsule. So, it blends with the capsule. And below, it is attached, the capsule is attached to the neck of the mandible. So, front and behind the neck of the mandible, it is attached. Okay. Then, what happens is, apart from that, the capsule is also attached to the periphery of the articular margins. So, around the articular fossa and also it here below, it surrounds the neck of the mandible. Okay. Now, if you look at the attachments, above the capsule is loosely attached. Whereas, below the capsule is very much tight. Okay, and very intimately attached to the bone. Uh, this is because to permit certain movements. Because the lower uh, compartment of our joint, this temporomandibular joint, will move as one single unit. Okay, so that is why the capsule is actually attached uh, very much intimately to the lower compartment. Now, the interior of the capsule will be lined by the synovial membrane, but the synovial membrane will not line the articular surfaces. So, anteriorly above articular tubercle, squamotympanic fissure. Below, it is attached to the neck of the mandible. Are you able to understand? And also, it surrounds the articular margins, the capsular attachment. The interior of the capsule is lined by the synovial membrane, but what happens is it does not line the articulating surfaces. Okay, because if it lines the articulating surface, then the synovial membrane will be damaged. It might get torn during the various movements of the joint. Now, coming to the articular disc. This is actually the intra-articular disc and the disc is actually made up of the fibrocartilage. It divides the joint cavity into an above menisco temporal compartment and below the menisco mandibular compartment. Okay. So, the superior compartment is called as the menisco temporal compartment and the inferior compartment is called as the menisco 